Goldberg may be back in the WWE, but in the past, WWE humiliated and buried Goldberg on many occasions. So in today's top 10, I'm going to count down the top 10 times Goldberg was humiliated by the WWE. Having Goldberg come out to the ring and cut long promos was complete humiliation. Goldberg is not great at promos, and WWE knew this, so they decided to humiliate him by coming out to the ring and cutting long promos and also doing long backstage segments. WWE is notorious for burying WCW wrestlers. Scott Steiner, Booker T, and Goldberg himself, the list goes on and on and on. Vince Man saw Goldberg as a ex-WCW competitor, and he wanted to humiliate him on a weekly basis, and that's basically what he did. Goldberg is not known for his wrestling ability, and WWE knew this. So they decided that, hey, we're going to bury this guy by having him wrestle long matches. Instead of just coming out there, hitting a spear, jackhammer, that's it. Instead, they have him come out there, wrestle long matches with Chris Jericho, Christian, Triple H. Sure, the matches weren't horrible, but they weren't great. And it exposed Goldberg during a period of time when being a good wrestler really started to matter. Back in WCW, Chris Jericho and Goldberg had a backstage altercation where Chris Jericho got the better of it. And so WWE decided to have Chris Jericho feud with Goldberg in WWE. And this backstage altercation was mentioned many times on television. But do casual wrestling fans need to know this? I don't think so. So this was probably a bad thing to mention, and it kind of did humiliate Goldberg. Goldberg's only WWE world title reign was very short. It only lasted three months, and he defeated Triple H. But then, three months later, he lost to Triple H in a triple threat match with Kane. WWE has had many documentaries focusing on Goldberg. Some positive, some negative. But to be honest, I would say the majority have been negative, including one episode on the WWE Network show, the Monday Night Wars, Goldberg was featured in one episode. The whole episode was about him. And in this episode, many, many wrestlers buried Goldberg. And this just goes to show you that WWE still has bad blood with Goldberg. Back in the day, The Rock used to do something called The Rock Concert. He would get in the ring with a guitar, and sometimes he'd sing, and most of the time he would just talk and basically tell jokes. The week before The Rock's match with Goldberg at Backlash, The Rock came into the ring and basically made fun of Goldberg for about 20 minutes, including having Gilberg come out to the ring. And to make matters worse, Goldberg chased The Rock backstage. Goldberg got into a car to try and chase down The Rock, who had already gotten into a car. Goldberg's car actually broke down, and this was a horrible, horrible blooper. Back in 2003, when Goldberg first came in, they had a backstage segment with Goldberg and Goldust, only because of the fact that the first part of their name is Gold. Goldberg, Goldust. They thought this would be hilarious. It wasn't. It was hilarious for all the wrong reasons. In this backstage segment, Goldberg ended up putting on Goldust's blonde wig. This was complete humiliation, and I'm sure it was done on purpose to bury him. Gilberg was around before Goldberg came to WWE, and he was made by WWE to be just a complete burial for Goldberg. Let's have him come out to the ring with sparklers. He has basically no physique whatsoever. Back in July of 2001, Triple H appeared on Tough Enough. On the show, he did a training session with some of the competitors on the show. Triple H found out one of these competitors actually had a Goldberg poster on his wall at the Tough Enough house. This led Triple H into lashing out on Goldberg. He said that Goldberg was a good athlete, but he had no heart, and he was just a jacked up muscle guy who left his company hanging when they needed them most. This anti-Goldberg rant was just 
completely insane. It came out of nowhere. Now this eventually led to Goldberg feuding with Triple H in the WWE. Triple H buried Goldberg on promos and in the ring. Forced Goldberg to have long matches when he shouldn't have. And eventually Triple H did lose the title to Goldberg, but a couple months later, Triple H won the title back. Triple H got the last laugh. 